Hey guys, what's up? I'm at the homestead over here at uh, CT's garage and I'm in a bit of a pickle. My sister's garage just down the street from here, I use for storage. She's been gone for over a year because she's been, she's in LA and uh, she wasn't traveling this last year, but she's thinking about getting ready to travel again. She's got a vacation house just down the street from here and that's where I've got the Gia stashed and some other stuff. I want to get the Gia back over here. All right, I'm going to push Rusty out, hook up the uh, battery jumper, and see if we'll start. Oh, yeah, Rusty. Let's get some juice on here. Just a little spin. Start if it stalls. We don't have far to go. <laughs> We're here. We can turn them off. All right, parking brake is on. We got a little wheel stopper there. Let's see what we're getting into. There it is. So I was over here the other day trying to get it going. And uh, I couldn't, it, it turned over for a second, but it wouldn't stay running. The, and it didn't have spark plug wires on it. So I found the old original ones that were on it and they're just, they're trashed. I mean, everything's trashed on it. This cap is trashed. So I'm gonna put some new cables on it and we'll see if we can get it to start. Hopefully we can get it to start and maybe we can put it on over. You can see it's got a, it's still leaking. Something's leaking, but let's see if we can get it started and uh, get it back over to the house. All right, we'll 
gonna need this for sure. Yeah, you can see it's a, a little bit of a mess. All right, let's get these old spark plug cables off. Cause I'm pretty sure they are toast. Thing's not even coming off. That thing was on there, boy. Whew. All right, look at this thing. This thing needs to be replaced. Look how dirty it is on the inside. I might hit this with a little bit of, a little bit of sandpaper, but yeah, this thing's shot. It's rough, man. It might not start, but we will, we will try. Either way, I gotta get back over to the house somehow. Number one, I can't even tell, is that number one? It should be number one. It's all covered up with grease. <laughs> oh man. All right, this should be number one, right? One, two, and then four, three, four. You can kind of see the four there. But you can't see the one over here. Look at this. Uh, this thing is just shot. Pretty bad. I can't even get to it. Let's see. I need to get this out of the way anyway, because it's blocking that spark hole. Oh my god, just made it worse. This thing is trashed. All right, I was wrong. This is two. Glad I checked. So this is two. This is one, all the way in the back here. One, two, four, three. The notch is right here. So this is supposed to be number one. And it's normally would be facing the number one I don't know. This thing's wrong. This thing is off. So, but depending on how this fits, right? I think. Let's see. How does this fit on? It should fit like that. Okay. So it fits like that. So this is one. Four, three, two. So this is one, two, three, four. That's how it goes. So it's number one goes to the back one here. Number two here, four here, three up there. All right. Hopefully that'll work. <laughs> that would be nice. So this is number two. And we need to run it behind here. again it's almost summertime here I need to pull a little fuel in the carb I think 
Oops. Ah, that was probably a little too much. Let's see what happens. Oh, the battery's charged. Someone's not sucking any gas through here, though. right out of the carburetor. <clears throat> or the fuel pump. So yeah, that's gonna need some attention. Is probably needs to be rebuilt. I just want to get this back to my house. I don't want to have to push it because it's heavy. I mean, it's not real heavy, but it's got some weight on it. All right, let's try that. Put a little more in the bowl. Try to get some in here. See what happens. I don't think it's pumping. 
All right, let me know if you see anything come out of here. I don't think the pump's working. I think we're just running off of whatever's in the carb here. Nothing's coming through the pump. There goes the battery. Oh, yeah, yeah. Try it again. Something's going on with the pump. That's why it won't stay running. Obviously, we got a serious oil issue. <laughs> but if we could at least get it running, we could get it back over to the house. We could pull the engine out and uh, start the teardown process. But, like I said, I don't want to have to push it over there if I don't have to. I will, but... rather get it running if I you know I don't know what's going on with the pump but it's not working so let's get the pump off and uh, take it apart I think I have a rebuild kit somewhere probably won't get it done today but it might be a fun little project kill some time and and learn something let's see if we can get this off all right the first thing I'm gonna do is just get these lines out of the way they I don't know if you noticed that one pulled out too so not sure what holds that in i'll have to 
ask somebody. I don't know if they use Loctite or what, but that has to, those have to be fixed. Because they're just pulling right out. Huh. Yeah, uh, that wasn't pumping the wrong way, was it? No, I don't think so. It's supposed to come out of here, in here and out of here, right? Is that busted right there? Looks like there's a little indent on there. I don't know if that's bad or not. I wonder what size that is. 14, 15. We need to get that one and the one behind it and then pull it out of there. All right, this is a 13. I'm gonna get this off. Might be tricky getting around the back. Look, this is loose too. Not sure if we're gonna be able to save it, but we'll try. I think I have a rebuild kit for it. I'm not sure if it's the same one. I think I got it for Rusty. This might be slightly different. Oh man, I can almost get in there. Almost. <laughs> Barely. It's working now. Some reason the pump's not working. I'm gonna turn this over and see if that moves up and down. Can you tell me if that that thing right there moves? It should move a little bit. See it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! Oh. Flashlight went. Yeah, it's, it's, it's functioning. It is? Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's the pump. Oh, yeah. I bet that'd be pretty easy to rebuild. Yeah, I'm going to try. All right, we're going back to CT's garage to work on the fuel pump. Hopefully, we can get it going. See you back at the garage. All right, guys, we're back in the garage. Excuse the mess. It is a work in progress. <laughs> Here's the pump. Here's the kit for 40 horse. I don't know how 
close they are to this one. The Ghia is a 1967, so the engine in there could be a, could be a 40 horse, could be a 15, I'm not sure, uh, 1500 or 1600, who knows if it's been swapped out, but this is definitely an older pump. Let's see, let's take this apart and see if any of these parts look the same. All right, let's take a closer look at this, see what we're working with. This little thing's pretty dirty, so I'll try to keep my hands clean. Let's see how long that lasts. <laughs> All right, we already know these are loose. I'm gonna pull these back out. Gotta figure out what to put in there to hold those in. There's a little, tiny little screw there that's missing. Looks like a little flathead. And it's smaller than that. There we go. There's a gasket there. Oof. Look at that spring in there. Somehow this little pin comes out. There's a clip on there, a little C clip on both sides. There's a gasket here. Oof. Let's get this top off. Spring. Trying to take it off slow. I've never taken one of these apart before, so that's the first time for me. So that spring was in there. Those four screws. diaphragm of some kind looks like Yeah, it's probably not working. <laughs> all right, what else we got here? Got all these.
Well, the screws are coming out real easy. Okay. Let's see if this pops loose. There it goes. I'm pretty clean in there. screws or something or if it's just jammed in there it might be connected here maybe yeah it's connected to that thing somehow you can see so that rod comes up from the cam pushes on this and that Pumps it, but it didn't seem to be working very good. Hmm. I think this needs to come off. Oh boy. I heard it. It went somewhere. Oh man. I dropped one of these tiny little clips. Dropped it on the floor. I can't find it. I'll find it, but I'm gonna keep moving forward for now, so. So this should just slide out. I thought I remember reading somewhere a while ago, because I was going to rebuild Rusty's. That's why I ordered this kit originally. And I thought I remember reading somewhere, I'm not sure where, uh, that when you pull this out, it's a real pain to get it back in. But I think it needs to come out. I'll just have to... Take the challenge, see what happens. Try to get some good footage of it before. How it's in there. All right, let's pull it out and see what happens. She's out. And by doing that, it felt like this released. Maybe not. Hmm. 
There's a spring in there. That spring might come down. Looks like maybe. Yeah. So that was just tucked up in that hole. You see that hole up in there. So that just comes out. All right. Seems simple enough. Now, how does this thing come out? Hmm. It's clipped in there somehow. Am I missing something? See that? Slid in there like that. Mm-hmm. See how that slid out of there? That's probably the trick, is getting that thing to, to lock in by pushing this down. Now this should come out, right? Yep. Okay, so this goes through there and locks on here. Like that. That's the trick, is getting that thing to lock on, I guess. Where was it this way? I think it was that way. Uh-huh. That's it right there. So, question is, is the new kit All right, let's open this kit. I bought this last year for maybe longer. It could be almost two years now. Um, year and a half, maybe. Bought this for Rusty's engine because his engine is a 40 horse. But I ended up sending out the carburetor, the fuel pump, and the distributor to somebody that knows how to do it. <laughs> because I wanted Rusty's engine to be perfect. Oh, cool. All right, well, that's a good sign. That just fell out of there. I guess they realize people dropped these, so. <laughs> Although those look bigger, so this kit's probably gonna be different. Maybe the diaphragm's the same. I don't know, maybe some of the parts are the same. Let's see. Let's see what we're working with here. Hey, that might be the same. What do you think? Looks like the holes line up. I 
the little connector looks the same. I bet that's the tricky part is getting that thing on there. Is that little white piece supposed to stay at the top and then it's supposed to go in between there? I don't know. This one's stuck up here. So maybe that piece does stay up. Those look the same. That's a good sign. All right. Let's see. Those two are good, I think. There's probably more stuff in here I'm not seeing. Oh, well, this thing's got to come out. All right, there's a spring, and there's a spring. Those look about the same. Okay, might be good there. Here's another spring, and there's that one. Those look good. Let's see, this pin. The pins look about the same. Awesome. Hmm. This piece and this piece look the same. This piece and this piece look the same pretty much. This one seems thicker, but maybe it doesn't need to be that thick, I guess. I'm not sure. Maybe there's a couple different variations on it, or maybe this kit includes other pumps. Um, or maybe this is where it goes. Hmm, I don't know. Not sure where that goes. This and this. I think we have the right kit here, guys. I think we have the right kit. These look very, very similar. They're not identical, but they look very similar. I think we might be on the right track here. Let's get this off and see if there's anything under there. All right, it's a 13. Let's see what we got here. There's a little gasket on there, which I see over here. There's something in here. Uh-huh little filter it doesn't look clogged it's a little bent up so here's the new one does it fit yeah okay it's a slightly different design but Probably does the same thing. All right. What else do we have here?
there's this gasket right here. Looks like we have a new one here. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. We're scoring, guys. We are scoring. Put the old stuff over here. New stuff up here that we've confirmed. So, what else? What else do we have? What else do we have? Da, 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 da. See, there's something here. That little filter thing in there, whatever that is. I don't know how to get that out of there. But uh, this is what it looks like right there, I think. Whatever that is. Not sure how to get in there. Oh, you know what? Look at that. That thing pops in there somehow. Oh, look. See the little dimples? To hold it in? There's, there's a couple little dimples right there. Where they went... To hold that thing in there. I don't know if it's... If we should try to pull that thing out or not. What the heck does that thing do? And you got this thing, which I don't know if we should mess with. Hmm. There's a spring under there. That's where this spring goes. This spring right here, this little one goes up underneath that thing right there, that red thing. So, this piece, this piece, and those, that piece, those three pieces right there go right there. And then I don't know what this is. They go right there. And I'm not sure what this is or if I want to mess with it. It's kind of mysterious looking. <laughs> uh... I don't see, I'm not seeing where this goes. This, hmm, oh yeah. Okay, this right here is right here. Just pull it off there, right there. So that's good. Is there anything else on here? I don't see where this goes. Hmm. I'm not seeing an old one of these anywhere. And I'm not seeing this. Oh, you know what? This may have gone here. And then this goes on top of it like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. That's right there. I can see it. It's just barely hanging on. I think. I think that's how that works. I'm not seeing anything else in here. 
this one looks all cleared out. Needs to be cleaned, obviously, but. I think we're good there. Not seeing anything else here. I'm looking to see where this goes. I don't really see a spot for this, but out of all that stuff, that's not bad. That's the only thing that seems weird. And then there's this, figuring out how to get this out. And figuring out what this is. The only thing that's in question here that's left over are these two pieces right here. And this probably goes under this screw. I guess we could go ahead and take that screw out and see what happens. It's pretty loose. Hmm. Not seeing a little gasket or anything. Nothing in there. There's not really much going on right there. Interesting. Not sure what that is. I'm just going to put that back on for a second. Um, so it doesn't fall. But it came out pretty easy. This, I got to figure out how to get this out of here. But look, there's a spring under it. This spring right here. So is it worth knocking that thing out of there to replace this? How does this go bad? What is this thing? It's like a little flap, flapper flap. Some kind of a valve, some type of valve or something. Hmm. Interesting. The issue is, is getting it out because of those little notches and then getting it back in there and then making the notches again. Hmm. Probably could smack it from the top. You could probably put it down on the table and hit it right here and knock it out from the back side. I don't know if I want to mess with it. Hmm. All right. I'll do a little research on it. I don't have to knock it out. I don't have to knock it out right this second, but you can definitely see there's like uh, some ethanol junk in there. Dirt. So this whole thing needs to be cleaned out really good. Um, so I'm going to let it soak. Looks like we got everything we need. The, the other issue was these little clips here. But these should fit. I think we'll be fine. These, the new ones look bigger, but uh, they'll probably fit on the new bar, no problem. So i got to figure out if I want to take that out or not. It'll probably work just leaving it in there. It'll probably be fine. 
for now. Cool. All right, guys, there it is. My first Volkswagen fuel pump, old school fuel pump, uh, tear down. And we're gonna get these parts cleaned up. We'll put it back together. And I, I need to do some research on how to get these to stay in the holes. If you guys know, let me know. Comment below. Is there some kind of glue or adhesive or something you put on here and stick them back in? And does anybody know how to get these out? So just smack it from behind. Is there anything else that I missed? Let me know. Comment below, share your knowledge, help a brother out. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, stay tuned for the next one on this. I got a lot going on. I'm kind of uh, gonna be all over the place for a couple weeks while I work on getting my sister's garage cleaned out, ordering parts for the Dragon, working with my brother, doing landscape lighting and some other stuff. So stay tuned. I'll keep pumping out the content. You guys keep watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.